So let's do a little bit of math with it now. Adding polynomials is really easy. You're just going to add together the like terms. You've done lots of this before. You've done it in pre-algebra. You probably did it in seventh grade algebra. So this shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay, so we've got two polynomials here. This is a polynomial because it is the sum of three different polynomials. This is also a polynomial because it's the sum of three different polynomials. Okay, so now if we're going to add these two polynomials together, it's easy. You don't even need the parentheses because, remember, addition can be done in any order. So all we have to do is combine like terms. So let's see if we can find some like terms. Get rid of the parentheses, like I mentioned first. Let's find the like terms. Well, there's a 2x to the third. Is there another x to the third somewhere? All right, there. So we can put those two things together, right? And we, when we put those two things together, I've got 2x cubes, so I've got two of those boxes, and then this is 1x cubed, so I've got one of those. So if I add two boxes and one box together, I get three boxes. The boxes don't change size. There's just three of them now instead of two or one. All right? Okay, how about another like term? There's a 5x squared right there, a minus 5x squared, and then there's a 2x squared together. We add those together. Negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3x squared. Again, the box doesn't change. The x squared doesn't change. What changes is the amount of them. All right? There's only one x, so we'll just go plus x. And then there's only one minus one. There's only one constant term, so we'll just put that down. And that's all there is to it. Cake, right? This is going to be easy. So make sure it's in standard form, which it is. So we're done, really. Like I said, that's all. Nothing more than that. Okay, so let's go on. Moving, moving, moving. Try this one on your own. Go ahead and pause it right now because in three seconds I'm going to give you the answer. Okay, here comes the answer. I hope you paused it and worked it out on your own. There you go. That's the answer. Hopefully you got that and hopefully you put it in standard form, which means that the x to the third, the biggest one, has to go first and the lowest exponent goes last, which is the one that doesn't have a variable with exponents. Remember, only variables with exponents matter when we're looking at exponents. Okay, there you go. That's adding polynomials. Now, I'm going to do subtracting as well right now. So I hope you got your britches on or something. I don't think that has anything to do with math, but that's okay. So here we go. We're subtracting polynomials, almost the same, but we're just going to distribute the negative. You learned about distributive property before, so that's what we're going to do. One thing about math that we do quite often is we take a problem and make it look like something we've done. How do I get rid of this minus? Well, I distribute it to everything and make it a plus. So that's what's going to happen. We distribute the negative. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And we distribute the negative to each of those. Notice that the first part doesn't change. The negative gets distributed to the minus 2n, which makes it positive. The negative gets distributed to that one, which makes it negative, and then gets distributed which makes it positive. Now that changes the sign to a plus. Now this is exactly like the problem we just looked at. Cake, right? So now all you do is remove the parentheses and combine the like terms. So there's a 4n squared and a 2n squared. So let's put those together to give us 6n squared. Again, take note that the n squared does not change. Right? It stays the same because we're just adding those things together. I've got 4n squareds there, and I've got 2n squareds there. That means in all, I have 6n squareds. It's like saying I got four cookies. I'm going to write this up at the top. I got four cookies, and then I'm adding two cookies. What do I end up with? I end up with six cookies. I don't end up with 6 cookies squared, though that would be nice. That's not what I end up with. When you add things together, the numbers add together, and the variable, the cookie part, stays the same. So if it doesn't work for cookies, don't you dare tell me it works for n squareds. All right? Let's go on to the n. Oh, uh, common, common factors. I got a plus 5 and a plus 4. We'll put those together to get plus 9. Then the minus 2n. Make sure that it's in standard form. Put it in standard form. We got the n squared, and then the n, because that's got an exponent of 1, and then the 9. And so there it is in standard form. That's the final answer. Easy, right? We'll go to the next page. Try this one on your own. You are almost kapui. Done.
In three seconds, I'm giving you the answer. So if you need more than that, please pause it. Here comes the answer. Hopefully this is what you got. ka -ching! In standard form, please. And there you go. All you had to do is distribute the minus, turn it into a plus, and then combine the like terms. Easy stuff, man. Well, that's all there is to combining like terms. I hope that made sense, and I hope that that's helpful on your homework tonight. Ciao.